Hey folks, what's up? It's me, Stumpy. Now y'all seem to enjoy the last uh, taste test video I did. So I'm going to do another one for you, but take a look at this. This is HD. I got a new camera. It does HD. It doesn't suck. It's not a 3DS. It's, it's actually quite nice. So, uh, I found something at uh, the grocery store the other day that I thought I would try out for y'all. And uh, I've kind of got a soft spot for this kind of stuff because uh, my dad used to be, used to eat a lot of it. He had gone to the doctor at one point and said, I, I guess he'd had a problem with his mouth going dry and stuff like that. And the doctor said to him to get that super sour candy that the kids like and eat that. Uh, that had a side effect of my dad actually getting hooked on this stuff and he had this assortment of it right next to his chair and he'd just sit there had the spray stuff, he had the, the liquid stuff, he had the stuff in the tube, he had all kinds of stuff. One thing, he didn't, I don't think he ever had the hard candy warheads, but one thing he uh, did not have is um, these. These are Warheads Extreme Sour Freezer Pops. Um, they are watermelon, blue raspberry, green apple, and black cherry. <laughs> I have not tasted these yet. Um, I'm not quite as big a fan of the sour stuff as my dad was, but I do like it once in a while, but I've not tried these. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try the red ones first because they're probably the least offensive. Uh, I'll explain why I'm saving the green apple for last when I get to it. So let me just, um, this, this thing is going to spew, I think. Just snip. Oh, okay. It didn't spew. All right. This, I'm, I'm guessing this is probably, the pinker of the two is probably the watermelon, so. Good. Okay. It's not painful. I mean. Yeah, that's the watermelon. Definitely get your attention. But, um, that, that, that's eatable. <laughs> it's not, um doesn't want to make my face fall off of my face. So, it's quite good, quite tasty. So I'm gonna try the next red one. This would probably be the black cherry then. Well, obviously it's the black cherry, it's the only other red one. Get that out of here. Okay, and, mmm. Okay, I like this one. And the watermelon was good, but I like the black cherry. This is this is really good. Mm. I'm a little disappointed though. Um, the box led me to believe that they were going to be extreme sour uh, stuff, and I've I've had more extremer sourer stuff than this. Um, yeah, let's, let's let's move on. And on to the blue raspberry. This is, I'm, I'm not even going to bother with the whole blue raspberry thing. I think it's dumb. But I see why they do it. I mean, there's so many red flavors already. They need to distinguish it somehow. So. Mm -hmm. That one's got a little bit of a kick. So, hmm. I don't taste raspberry. I don't taste much raspberry at all, though. Hmm. All right. Moving on. All right. This is why I saved this one for last. There are two artificial fruit flavors that I just absolutely cannot deal with. One of them is fake banana. The other one is fake green apple. Here's your fake green apple and sour fake green apple on top of that. Just blah. I can't deal with the fake green apple Jolly Ranchers. I can't deal with uh, the the are there, are there green apple rents? I don't know. I know there's banana rents, and I pick and flick those because I can't stand them. But yeah, I, I saved the one that I really I'm not gonna like for last. I'm sure. Warheads, you're disappointing me. I mean, not only are your extreme sour freezer pops not all that sour, your green apple 
is not making me gag. I could actually eat this. I could. It actually almost tastes like a real apple. What's wrong with you? Green apple flavor is supposed to be fake and gross and it's supposed to get up in your sinuses and make you feel like you're breathing green apple fire. This almost tastes like a real friggin' apple. What's wrong with you? Okay, um, I, I have one more thing. Excuse me, just a second. Let me, uh, let me run to the kitchen. I'll be right back. And voila. Yes, this is what you think it is. Yes, it is. It is all four flavors. Um, now, the, the, for some reason, they don't come out even in the box. There's not four, four, and four. There's one set of four flavors, and then there's another set of four flavors, and then there's like two extra ones that they threw in just for the hell of it, just to make ten. It's like hot dog buns. All right, this is what you think it is. It, it's all of them. Blend it up together um, with a, a couple of shots of uh, Admiral Nelson vanilla. So this, this is the trashiest daiquiri you'll ever see in your entire life. It's Freezer Pops and Admiral Nelson, oh my god. Alright, let me just... Uh... Gee, yeah. Um, I, I kind of hope that the vanilla would mellow it out a little bit. So, it, yeah, it, although it's still not, you know, face imploding into your face sour, it still has a little bit more of a kick than I expected. Um, looks disgusting. You know, actually, I, I am getting a little bit of the fake green apple coming through now. It just kind of cuts through all the rest of the flavors. But, uh, hmm. So, that, that's, um... I hate to admit this. I know this is a crime against humanity. This is actually drinkable. Um, so uh, I'm going to finish this. <laughs> and next time, I, well, now that I have a camera that doesn't suck, I can do more vloggy stuff now. So uh, next time, I, I'll find something else interesting to taste test for you. In the meantime, beefnopolis.com. Uh, you can go to the charities page, donate to Extra Life. Uh, donate to, I think I still have the, um, uh, the Crowd Rise fundraiser up for the Red Cross for all the, uh, flooding that we've been having down here in Houston. So, uh, if you are so inclined, please throw, throw a couple of dollars at one of those. Uh, the videos page, of course, has all the videos on it, except the vlogs I haven't gotten around to putting a section on yet. Um, and then there is the, uh, the shop page, where you can go and buy swag and, uh, support the Empire. So anyway... That's all for today, folks. Uh, next time, I don't know what we'll do, but I'll find something. Take care. Bye-bye.